What's going on guys, Sacred Eagle, and today I'm going to talk about a wide receiver that is going to interest me in 2017. Um, a wide receiver that we've watched for the past two years struggle um, in Chip Kelly's system and then struggle a lot more in Doug Peterson's more laid-back offensive system. Um, and his name is Nelson Aguilar. Now, what this video is, is really what this year means for Nelson Aguilar, now that we have Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith here in Philadelphia. Um, you can clearly see that Nelson Aguilar is no longer a number three wide receiver because, well, no, he's not a number three, nor is he a number two, nor is he a number one. He is more like a backup right now in his current situation. The Eagles are really stacked at wide receiver depth-wise. When you look at the personnel, they have a lot of names there. Going from Alshon Jeffrey all the way down to Bryce Treggs. There's a couple of good names. Well, not good names, but a, a majority of names. A lot of names in that one uh, position. And the one name that, besides Alshon Jeffrey, Torrey Smith, the newcomers that would really stand out to you, Nelson Aguilar. Because you saw in 2015 some sparks of something big coming from um, Nelson Aguilar, just imagine if he was in a system that fits him a lot better, that isn't fast-paced. We get that a year later, he struggles a lot more, dropping passes, um, making idiotic illegal formation penalties, holding penalties, um, false starts, can't keep his mind on task, can't calm down, it's just making mistakes, and it's costing games. One game in particular that I always We'll never stop talking about when Nelson Aguilar's name pops up is when we went to Seattle back in, what, November? <laughs> we all remember the illegal formation penalty that called back Zach Ertz as the long touchdown to catch and run that would have given the Eagles a 16, or I believe, what was it? It would have given them like like a 14-9 and lead. Because remember, we were winning 7-6, to then we were losing 9-7, to I believe, if my memory is correct. And then we would have had a touchdown. We would have been up 14-9. to Who knows what could have happened after halftime. Not only that, but he also made an idiotic play by dropping a pass while he was wide open behind the secondary in that same game. Um, missed opportunities, mistakes. And we benched him for one game. He comes back, makes a few good catches, but they only gained 2-7 to seven yards um, from here on out. He made one good um, catch, one good play, in the 24-19 victory in Week 16 against the New York Giants here at the Link. Um, other than that, you didn't see much from Nelson Aguilar in 2016, and it's raising the question, what does this year mean for uh, Nelson Aguilar? And he, we've already seen what he... Well, we already know what he knows, and he knows that his job is on the line. This year is the final chance that we are going to give Nelson Aguilar... He's now number 13, a new number, hopefully a fresh start with his new um, wide receiver crew that he has with Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith, two experienced wide receivers. One has a ring, the other one um, has had a hell of a career in Chicago. Um, it, it all just comes down to this year. He needs to perform when he is able to perform we're going to see a lot of him during preseason, um, and I can't wait for preseason um, because we're going to see a lot happening in preseason. Nick Foles returning in Philly, playing some Philadelphia football. Um, we're going to see who's gone and who's here, and that's when I'll talk about this more often. But I just wanted to bring, to, uh, bring it up to you guys that Nelson Aguilar, he really has one more chance here in Philadelphia, um, and he knows that his job is on the line because... He just needs to perform, and he hasn't been able to do that. I made one of my most viewed videos is about him getting cut, how I want him to get cut. Last year, before the season even started, I was defending the guy because a lot of people were asking, "Is he a big time wide receiver?" I was saying it was just his rookie year. It was a crazy system. We're coming to a new, um, fresh, laid back, normal system of football. Maybe he'll have a great season. I, I personally thought that he would have had a great season. None of our wide receivers had a great season in the end. And um, you look at wide receivers on our on our depth chart. Dor Dorio Green Beckham, 
he's kind of in the same situation um, because he is in the same draft class as Nelson Aguilar. He came from Tennessee where he had a pretty pretty solid uh, rookie year. Um, he comes to Philly during like week three or four of the preseason. I can't really remember. It was like late August. Um, I remember him playing the Colts and he got a pass from um, Bre uh, Sam Bradford um, when he was still an Eagle, and it was a fade route. It was something that I haven't seen in ages in an Eagles football game. Um, a fade route completion touchdown. It was great. I was like, yes, this kid is going to make some noise here in Philadelphia. He did not do that at all, and it's another situation with him. He knows, or he should know, that his job is in question as well. Um, preseason is going to answer all these questions, but Nelson Aguilar, Doriel Green Beckham, these two wide receivers really need to step it up if they want to keep their jobs. They have Paul Turner and Bryce Treggs right behind them, um, you know, waiting to step up in their positions. Uh, Bryce Treggs, though, I don't know about him because, uh, he likes to party. So does Doriel Green Beckham. That's another thing. Um, I saw this on, um, I believe it was EDP's video about, or some, somebody, somebody in the Eagles fan base on YouTube who talked about uh, how Bryce Treggs and uh, Doriel Green Beckham, this is, there was an article about how they like to party instead of focusing on football. And if they if that's the truth, if they party more than play football, they can get out of here. I can completely rely on Paul Turner stepping up for everyone else. Because he is a playmaker. We saw it last year in the preseason. And then there's the other question of Rashad Bailey. Philadelphia freaking... A Philly kid had a hell of a 2015 preseason. We cut him. Didn't see him in 2016. He's back. I honestly wouldn't mind seeing us cut everybody except for Paul Turner and bringing up Rashad Bailey. That would be a really cool thing to see because, um, like I've said, the wide receivers I just listed have been struggling, party too much. Eagles, I want to see something happen in the wide receiver core. Uh, I want to see people dropped, people added, stuff like that. Uh, I want to see... I mean, I know I'm going to have to wait a while, probably until preseason, you know, when the 53-man roster is due. Um, that's when wide receivers, running backs, quarterbacks, linebackers, offensive linemen, everybody gets their chance to make the roster. If they don't, they're gone. If they do, or they're put on the practice squad or whatever... I want to see what happens. I can't wait, and I'm starting to hype it up now because there are a few jobs on this Eagles roster that are on the line. So tell me in the comments down below what you think the Eagles should do with their wide receivers, who they should cut in the preseason, in the offseason in general. Should they bring up Rashad Bailey, and should they uh, move away from DBG, uh, DGB, uh, Noel, um, Nelson Aguilar, Bryce Treggs? Tell me in the comments down below because... Um, it's going to be interesting this preseason and the rest of this offseason. The draft is coming up. Tell me in the comments, uh, again, if you want me to do some draft uh, pick videos like mock draft, whatever, uh, I'll definitely love to share my opinion with you guys and talk to you guys about who the Eagles should draft come April 29th or whatever. So, again, comment down below all your opinions and everything like that. I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. Subscribe for more content. I make Eagles videos every single day to keep you guys updated with, you know, what's going on and also sharing my opinions and whatnot. Thank you all for watching, all for the support and everything. And I'll see you all tomorrow night with another video. Have a great rest of your day, guys.